It is the least touched continent on Earth. Millions of square kilometers of sea, ice and life. No polar bears, they live only in the Arctic. But penguins, other birds and fish that live nowhere else. Antarctica's ecosystems are valuable in themselves. But the Antarctic and Southern Ocean are also essential laboratories for measuring the effects of climate change. Given all of these impacts which are affecting the Southern Ocean, it's important that we're actually able to distinguish what's happening through climate change and what's happening through fishing, whether it's tourism, shipping or fishing. So by having control areas, which are parts of the marine reserves, the marine protected areas, you can have those areas protected such that you've got a good scientific control. For the past five years, at annual meetings here in Hobart, delegates from 24 countries plus the European Union have been negotiating to establish marine protected areas. Agreement needs consensus. In previous years, Russia and China vetoed proposals. They want to reserve the right to fish freely and said they weren't fully persuaded of the science behind the proposals. Every year that these MPAs are not established, it's open for fishing, it's open for other activities that could degrade the ecosystem. So it's really important that these MPAs are put in place as soon as possible to protect them. Disappointing then that delegates in Hobart this week again failed to reach consensus. There is of course some frustration here, but most delegates are leaving more optimistic than they have been in previous years. They may not have quite reached agreement, but they say substantial progress has been made. Importantly, for the first time, China says it now supports one of the two proposed protected areas. Russia, though, remains opposed. They've indicated that they're not quite ready to uh, proceed with this uh, marine protected area yet, but they have indicated that they're willing to talk with us intercessionally and we'll take them up on that offer and hopefully we'll be able to convince them. So there's growing hope it's coming, but for now, Antarctica still lacks the protection it needs. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Hobart.